well guys continuation of this project I tried making a video yesterday but started putting this together and i had a tent up and i just threw that thing off of here but it started rain, raining on me and anyways long story short i went to do this and found out that he gave me the wrong wiring harness hopefully so far this one looks correct so yeah this is gonna be pretty certain all the stuff that's going Damn phone going off. Gets irritating. This should be this right here. Okay. Um, something's not adding up here. Oh. they do that I wonder there's the three pin that's the three pin for the de the diagnostics on it um, so hang on let's go get a pair of dogs I don't know why they put an intake I'm not certain why they did that but I am not certain why they did that let's see if we can figure this thing out um, that should be over here. I don't really need that should be right here. Or am I wrong? Why that thing's not adding up here. What's going on here? This should be the top. Um, why can't these guys get the right wiring harness? I'm not understanding what the major problem is here. Why we keep getting the wrong shit. Starting to get a little bit pissed off. That's not right. That should be... You know, it's like, what is this going to? I don't think this one's right either. God damn it, man. This will be going to the VGT actuator. This is a turbine speed sensor. This is for the outlet NOS. This. So I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be for. I don't remember anything on there that had that plug on it anywhere none of this is making any sense let's go get the old harness and start looking at it I guess this is that's the Deutsch connector for it's got to be for the lift pump I think where's the oil pressure or oil temperature, I should say, because that's a two wire. <sighs> what in the hell is it go going on here? I mean, that's the engine serial number. You'd think they'd get the right one off the engine serial number. Here's the 1410 crossover, which we've got a blank put in the end of it, which we don't need that on there. God dang, man. It's irritating after a while. Dealing with the phone all the time. It's going off in your fucking ear. This is the 1410 crossover. for the lift pump. So 
this is old pressure sender right here. That's the old pressure sender, so that needs to go. Well, no, 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 no. There's a three pin. This is old pressure right here. center tied on here. I can just put that sensor in there with that style plug. That's what I'm going to do. And then that'll work. Um, a bunch of plugs here. Shit, I have no idea. Um, this has got to be this is the 14 pin crossover. Not 100% certain what the hell this is. Oh, I know. It's wild. Okay, so this has got to go. Just like, I'll twist it around and shit. It needs to go back in here somewhere. Kind of go down in here to make this right. This will all go below the V2 plug. Yep. This is for the fuel control actuator here. Okay. That is going to be coming over here. Hmm. Like it where it's at, so I think I'm gonna go this way with it. Excuse me as I grunt and groan, trying to get all this stuff arranged. This pump's plugged in. Now we've got the fuel control actuator off the common rail pump. That should plug into here. Okay. We got like I think engine oil temp right here, I think. Let's plug in there. Put gain in order. Tab will go on here. Uh, have that backwards. Yeah, got that. All right. Crossover. Okay. Excuse me while I talk out loud. Uh, trying to figure this stuff out here. This has got to be a rail pressure. Or is this rail pressure? This is rail pressure right here. Okay. Come on, not. Not certain what the other wires for yet. I guess I'll figure it out. This has got to be the rail pressure sensor. We got a blank in the end of it. Is that the right one? Doesn't appear to be the right one either. So what the fuck is going on here? Is this the right one? That's the right one. So I don't know what the hell all this other shit's for. Uh, it's like three different rail sensors or something in it. I don't know. It's really strange. 
put that back on there and I'll have to wrap a zip tie back around that later, I guess. It's kind of weird. It's almost like they sent you a wire. I gave them the engine serial number. You would think it would be specific for engine serial number. that one right there don't know what the hell that's supposed to be for I guess it's an option that we don't have on this one I think if it, it would fit like an intake air throttling valve you know it would be right here like on a freight liner Okay, so we gotta look for, this is all gonna go down to the, one's gonna be a crankshaft speed sensor. One of them should be. Let's go under this. So let's go. So we got. That's going to be the crankshaft speed sensor down there. And then we're going to have. Pressure. Why is that not wanting to? There we go. That goes on there. We'll have to zip tie a whole bunch of stuff here. This is supposed to be, I think, down here. Why do they have? here and then I just drop the bolt
killed it. Got something to go here. This one will go about right in here. Lots of little eyes to put on here. Let's move this one up a little bit. Of course, pulling on that thing too much. There we go. Better. Let's see here. Crank to speed sensor. I don't think I even need one of these on there. Because there wasn't one there to begin with. I just dropped another bolt. Man, I am all fingers today, I'll tell you that. Butter fingers, I should say. they put on everything. That crank to speed sensor is so much fun, you know. somewhere be able to see anything here or not this is all got to get wound up through here that other one had eyes that were attached to here but this one doesn't have that so it's just got the little grommets which will go here and then I think the other one will go right here The other one had eyes that went on these two bolts right here. This one does not have that. Where did my cam shaft position sensor plug go? That goes there. This one here. Go there. That'll go there. Coolant temp sensor. rubber plugs they put on everything you can't really tell which way that it's lined up or not orientated correctly there it goes there's that we got this one we're getting there the only thing I see different is the intake here the manifold pressure gauges or sensors a little bit different but in a sensor with it we'll put that sensor in that hole and use this one 
using these plugs like this that we're not using we'll just tie them up somewhere out of the way all right guys i'm gonna go eat lunch i'll be right back here I get her all wound up through there somehow come on man work with me if I remember right the slide lock was facing a block which is kind of ridiculous you would think they would make that to where you could access the side lock and pull it back towards the frame where you got more room. And... That would make too much damn sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, so this stuff here... And that's right up against that exhaust. I don't really like that very much. Keep it away from that exhaust. I don't really see anything. I don't like it being by that exhaust very much. This needs to go back up around there somehow. Now we can get that away from that exhaust a little better than what we've got there. I don't really care for that. Um, I think what needs to happen here, see there's a little grommet right there. That little grommet needs to go up one of these holes here. And that should keep that away from the exhaust is what I'm thinking. It's still pretty close to that, ain't it? I don't know if I like that very much. Yeah, what the hell? That's just too damn close to the exhaust pipe. Do I have it like routed on the wrong side of that or something? It just isn't making much sense. No, 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 no. That ain't right. Those go right there. Okay, that's where those are going. Pull that back out of here. That ain't right. I need to unplug it. It gets routed a little different than I think it actually might go up through here. That's exactly what it does. It goes through here. 
it goes down that and back up. So I need to unplug it. Let me get a screwdriver and unplug it. Something. Something like this. Ugh. Yep, that ain't right. Let's I'll break this on a brand new harness here. I do not like these connectors at all. Can't stand these slide lock connectors. That ain't right. The way I got it routed, it's not correct. Slide lock connectors work fine when they're new, but they get some dirt and stuff in them. Half the time you break them when they get them apart. other little grommets out of there though. They don't need to be there. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get back in here behind it to get it out of there. Damn it. Not working out very well. camera up here where you can see what the hell's going on. Huh? Can we put the camera up there maybe? I don't know. Right, that's going to go. And I took a little drill. Some tabs were all breaking off in here. Plastic. Roll them out. Little retainer plugs type things. That one's plugged in there. 
that'll go there. Uh, this should go right over that. Like so. This one needs to go between Part for the horse a little bit there. Let's go like this. This bolt here. I might go ahead and drive this thing, get this harness in there, and get it running again, and take it on down to the dole. The weather's just going to close in on me. I'm not. I'm just not going to be able to do these things out here by the house anymore until I get this squeeze out of the shop. Just. Uh, Way it's gonna be. Okay, here's another couple grommets that need to be. a green connector. Why do they have those tied together like that? Okay. Now, I'm guessing just kind of the way things are fitting here. Uh, I'm thinking the blue one will go here. It's a two wire. sensor so that one goes on there I believe this one will go right here but it's... So this one will go right here hopefully all those are plugged in now okay we're getting there and this yeah I forgot about this um, have to tie this all up here somewhere. It'll get tied to this harness here. That will go right there. And now we work on VGT stuff here and turbine speed sensor and intake air temperature sensor I believe is. Is that what that one is? It's two wire. It should be a temperature sensor of some kind. Um, so, get underneath here and find all this stuff, huh? Ah. Okay, there we go there. And that's going to have to get wound up between the filter. I got a zip tie on there. I might be cutting loose. It's kind of screwing me up here. Okay, there it is. That's what I'm looking for right there. Get that son of a gun in there, huh? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Not the easiest thing in the world to get plugged in these VGTs. wanted a new harness because of uh, all the retainers were all broke and he said they were coming unplugged on washboard roads they were rattling loose turbine speed sensor but we're remedying that issue right now Anything. Going 
my braille here. There it is, okay. And then we have the temperature sensor. And some guys run them up here. haven't remedied that one code for the um, fuel tank level nonsense but now I just want to get it all plugged and get it to run great big son of a gun Be curious to see how many wires they've got in on the 14 pin crawl. Well, they're probably going to have more than what you would normally use on this side of it. On the J1 side, the J2 side is going to only have whatever the OEM manufacturer wanted on it. There's my Leatherman. I've been looking for that. It fell down in there in the frame rail. How lucky am I, huh? Okay, um. That's plugged in. So I just gotta figure out where my 14 pin. Where's my 14 pin crossover right there? I'll be plugged in right so like that. Uh, rubber is holding me off here because the rubber is dry. Uh, and we're gonna have to lube it up or something to get it to plug in. Work, anything wet. Okay. Not plugged in at last. Okay. supposed to be like tucked back in there somewhere but I'm gonna be messing with that anyway I think for the fuel level thing okay well let's see if it'll run huh we've got a lot of zip tying and tighten up bolts and things like that to do but maybe we should do that first Maybe we should do that first. I know what'll happen. Oh, you know what? We gotta take this and change this sensor around. Put the correct manifold pressure sensor in it. a little different is this sensor here. This is a different setup. Um, not thinking. I don't know guys. I don't know if that's gonna work. Um not this one is it? No, that's a four wire. That's a four wire. Hey, dumbass. 
I figured it out. There it is right there. Well, this is the ambient air. I thought that was what that was. That's the ambient air temperature sensor. So I, I figured, I'm dumbass. That one plugs right in. That's the ambient air temperature sensor. I'll have to zip tie that and put it back where it went. It's either ambient air temperature or barometric pressure or something. I don't know. All right, well, let's see. Yeah, we were going to tighten bolts up. There's a multitude of them, I'll tell you that. It, which I'm trying to remember what might have happened to that. Um, I think I was working on this truck over here. I'm doing a wet kit on this truck, and I'm trying to locate and get fittings rounded up, and it's it's fun. Uh, here it is. Yeah, it's about time to move the operation south down there where I can get this stuff underneath a building and not uh, trying to do this out here in the weather. It kind of sucks. So once I get this running, I think that's what we'll end up doing. bunch of 10 millimeter ones and right here thirteen back there too. This one here. And I gotta tighten them ones up on top that the original harness was bracketed to. I left them loose because I thought the new harness would have the same eyes on them, but it did not. So everything is pretty much accounted for. The only thing that really wasn't being used is this one particular plug, and I think that's for an air throttle, for an intake throttle that goes here, because that Freightliner is the same CM2350 engine, but it, it's got a air throttle in on the intake. Okay, let's see here. Let's tighten these up. I like that being right up against that hose like that. I don't know if I should tie it off to here. Maybe we'll tie it off to here. Tie it off just in the right spot to where it doesn't rub on either hose. Winter is here. Snow on the top of the mountain over on Stugel right there. So it's Time to start figuring out how to do stuff inside. I've 
I've ran this out about as long as I can. First year I was in business for myself, I did everything outside for two years. I'm gonna have a shop. Sit out in the snow and shit all winter long working on stuff because I just didn't have any money, didn't have nothing, so that's the way it goes. Okay, got that bracketed down there. Let's go. I think I had one back in here somewhere. Yep. I think that one has to be an in wrench setup. This one has to be a deep weld socket setup. And this one is like 16 millimeter. Weld 13 around the shot, grab a in wrench, and we need to tie this up up here and get it out of the way. Let's get this thing run. I'm gonna back it up, get it out of the driveway for now. I'm gonna run over there and grab some more fittings from Albert for that wet kit job I'm doing. Try to keep, get something done on that, and then when it gets dark on me, I'll go in the shop and wire on Josh's hay squeeze. that will be all no 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 we still got all these up here to do I forgot about those We'll go ahead and start it. I think we should be We're gonna have check engine light because of that one code. But I want to see. I want to do a force regen on this thing now that I got the harness in there and make sure nothing comes up. code in there so I got to remedy that yep, that's it so let's go ECM test we'll do a force regen on it oh no ECM connected why did it do that The clowns are really out flying today. Yeah, she's gonna snow on me. I think it's good that I got this to run because I think I need to get it down there where I can do something with it. Let's go to Atrotrude Distal Particular Filter. 
regeneration. I could do an SCR system test too. And do pretty much the same thing. It may not do the test because of this one code. We'll see. Yeah, it ain't gonna. It ain't gonna do it. It ain't gonna do it. Um, go back. Let's just go do. code is it oh see I don't have I've got the park brake enabled it's seeing that it's out of park yeah we'll change that real quick and then we'll do a uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, turn the park brake off and then we'll do the regen And I'm going to plumb that normally open air switch in for the park brake. I'm going to take one of these gloves off so I can run this laptop. Okay, let's go down to... Parking brake switch. Okay. Disable. Right click, send it to the ECM. But we're going to have to shut it off and we're going to lose. Hopefully I got it done quick enough. I think it lost communication. Yep. Yeah. Cause somebody, and I haven't done that yet either. Because somebody Somebody wired my data link and somebody's been into it since I've worked since I did this truck. And they've got it wired to the key on ignition power, which it should not be. It should be constant battery power on pin B so somebody screwed it up come on come on come on come on <sighs> send to ECM there we go. Send that to the ECM. And then we'll start it back up and do a force regen on it. I'll we'll have to get an extension cord run out here to plug this laptop in. What I want to do is I'm trying to, I want to for, force free and I want to make damn sure that 3572 code does not come back. And I know that needs a regen because he said it's been doing this for a while and it hasn't had a good complete regen done on it. So. Yeah, they're calling for snow and it's supposed to be heavy snow. So I got to, I don't want to, I think me and the wife might, uh, I'll put the dash back together and probably leave this stuff off for now and I'm just gonna drive it down to McDole and then I'll have to have her bring me back and then I'll grab my service truck and I'll unhook his trailer down there the trailer needs work done on it too and uh, I don't know I'm thinking about Ray's truck over there with the wet kit if I need to road it down there too or what I just got to get this stuff inside before the weather gets gets too nasty where I can't do anything here I mean I could 
I, I can't get Ray's truck in there because he's got that big awning on top of the uh, top of the cab. If he didn't have that on there, it'd go right in there. That door's only a 12 or 13 foot door, so it doesn't work very well when you're doing this stuff. <sighs> Okay. Okay. And of course, you know, we got to reestablish communication because some ding dong wired the data link wrong. Okay. We'll go back over to test. Let's go ahead and start it. Now, interesting. I got a call and ask him if he wants me to figure out why it's running so rough. Now, she should do it now. There she goes. All right, guys, I'm gonna let her run for a while. Uh, while I'm doing this and letting it run, I'm gonna start zip tying some of that stuff up, tidying the harness up. And, uh, we'll see if it'll go through the regen process without throwing any codes. Hey, well guys, um, that's all I'm gonna do on this for right now. I'm gonna get it, I gotta get this slip moon, cause that's gonna blow off going down the highway. Um, I'm gonna road this thing down to McDole, get it inside the cellar, the shop there where I can start working on it. And he's got a whole list. We gotta change the tractor protection valve, fuel gauge ain't working, cab. Cab shocks need to be changed and uh, there was a whole bunch of stuff. Anyways, it'll be a continuation. Anyways, guys, so thanks for watching.